Hi, I'm Dan Ayers. I'm the Coastal Shellfish Manager with the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife, where I'm uh, also the Razor Clam Program Manager. And we're out on the Long Beach, Razor Clam Beach today, where we've just completed a Razor Clam transect, and it's been a great day. So, what, what are the crews doing today? Well, we've just completed looking at how many Razor Clams are on this particular section of beach. This is the last of 54 days of transects we've done along the entire Washington coast, and it generates a number that will tell us how many razor clams there are to harvest in the season ahead, and the good news is there's going to be a lot of them. So, um, you know, what's the process here? Well, the process is, uh, requires actually a fair amount of work. Uh, we don't dig razor clams to determine how many they are because razor clams don't all show at the same time, so we use a method we call the pump area method where we liquefy the sand, and an aluminum ring that's exactly one half square meter in area. We do that along a transect every 50 feet, six times every 50 feet. And by the time we're done, we have an estimate of how many clams per square meter there are on this section of beach. So why is this work important? Well, this work is important because razor clams are important to coastal communities and a lot of folks who love to dig razor clams. The more razor clams there are, the more digging we can offer. And the more digging we can offer, the better there are uh, economic impacts to coastal communities. In the dead of winter, when there might not be very many visitors in some of Washington's small coastal towns, and suddenly five or 6,000 razor clam diggers flood into town in the dead of winter, that's good news for business owners and good news for the clam diggers who get to get out and dig some clams. And so why are some seasons better than others for razor clams? Well, it all depends on how many clams there are, and so our, our stock assessment gives us a good idea. Razor clam, season, razor clam populations go up and down with natural conditions, so when conditions are good like they have been and razor clam populations are strong, we can offer more days of razor clam digging. So it's really dependent on what Mother Nature can do for us. So what is most challenging about managing shellfish? Well, there's a couple of things that are really challenging in managing razor clams in particular. One is the natural variations in the climate, like I just mentioned, that come and go. And so you have good seasons and bad seasons based on just ocean conditions and, and water temperatures in the ocean and how much salinity is in the water and how much plankton's available, all kinds of variables that we can't control. But we can measure those populations and give good, good estimates of the population and get good digging opportunities. But the number two thing that's difficult is sometimes people don't always obey all the rules. Um, the rules are pretty liberal. I mean, you get to take home 15 big fat razor clams uh, legally every time you go digging. But there are some folks who just can't stop at 15 and it's really important to, uh, to follow the rules. And so that can be a little challenging from time to time. So what can people do to help ensure healthy razor clam populations? Well, the first thing they can do is follow the rules and make sure they're only taking home the first 15 they dig, regardless of size or condition. So if you break a clam, you need to take it. If it's on the small side, you need to take it. And, and uh, just get out, have a good time, follow the rules, and uh, there'll be clams into the future easily. So how is this work funded? Well, this work is funded by the Washington State General Fund. Um, and that's your tax dollars at work. Uh, you do buy a razor clam license to participate, and most of those dollars um, go back to, uh, to the general fund, and we get that money reappropriated to us through the uh, grace of the Washington State Legislature. And uh, the legislature's been very good to us, and we have, um, we have the money we need to manage this fishery. We're very excited to be able to do that. So what do you like most about razor clams? I think what I like most, what gives me the most that pride, is when I am on the beach checking razor clam diggers and I see a family come up and they've all got their limit and they've all had a good time and they've got the little kids and they've got grandma and grandpa and the whole family and maybe they're at the back of their pickup having a little picnic afterwards and everybody's had a great time. That gives me really good feelings and makes me really enjoy some of the nasty weather we endure and some of the work we do that sometimes can be a little tough. You see people having a good time, it makes it all work. So where can people find out more about Razor Clams? So our website is a really good spot and we're about to post our annual Razor Clam management update where we'll tell you all about where populations are strong on each beach, uh, what the average sizes are, all kinds of great information. You'll see some video there of the work that we're doing today. Uh, you know, uh, our website's a really good place and we're also going to be announcing some Razor Clam digging dates in the near future on that website. Take a look, keep an eye out, and you'll be ready to go. Well, and I wanted to ask a few follow-up questions. You got lots of fans out there, and um, you know a few questions that came in. Uh, what's your favorite way to prepare razor clams? 
That's a great question. I like to cook, and my favorite way to cook razor clams is pretty simple. And you'll hear a lot of kind of fancy recipes. I like to take a nice fresh razor clam, dredge it in a little bit of flour, shake off that extra flour, and throw it in a hot frying pan with some oil in it. Don't cook it to death. Flip it over a couple of times. Get it out of that pan, and uh, you've got you're ready to go right there. That's all it takes. A little salt and pepper, maybe some garlic salt on there, maybe a little bit of butter drizzled over it, and uh, you're, I'm making myself hungry. It's uh, <laughs> it's time to eat. Yeah, we haven't had breakfast out here yet. Been out here since what time? Well, the crew arrived at 4:15, and we were a little bit behind them, but we've been out here since daylight for sure. And uh, one last thing, I, and I want to emphasize this because uh, some folks joined us late, um, not right on, right when the video started, as will be, happen in Facebook Live. But folks are asking, what's the outlook for the season? It's going to be a really great season ahead. So last year was a little on the skimpy side, especially here at Long Beach, where we we're only able to offer offer four days. We're going to be able to offer far, far more days at Long Beach. And we'll have a lot more digging on the other beaches as well. Uh, it's, it's going to be a really good razor clam season ahead. And I think a lot of folks, especially north of Grace Harbor, are going to find in general razor clams are a little bit bigger. So good news all the way around. Well, thank you, Dan. We really appreciate you spending some time with us today out here. Uh, it's a beautiful morning, and we're looking forward to a great season. So thank you.